On this day in labor history, labor leader Clara Lemlich was born in 1886 in Horodok, Ukraine, to a Jewish family. In 1903, she immigrated to the United States, leaving after the Kishinev pogrom. Finding a job in New York City's garment industry, Lemlich quickly became active in organizing and was elected to the executive board of an international ladies' garment workers' union local. She challenged the male leadership and demonstrated her fearlessness, most notably when she returned to the picket lines after having her ribs broken by strike breakers. Lemlich's call to support striking garment workers in 1909 placed her on the national stage and led to the uprising of 20,000, helping thousands of women gain union recognition. An unabashed communist, her radicalism saw her blacklisted from the industry and the ILGWU, causing her to turn her efforts to suffragism. She later focused on raising a family but never lost her organizing spirit, helping coordinate local housewives in Brooklyn. Even in old age, Lemlich helped the workers of her retirement community organize and had them support the United Farm Workers boycotts. She passed in 1982 at 96.